I began to paint after the accident. Papa gave me a little box of paints and a small book that told me how to prepare the canvases. My boyfriend Gomez Arias bought me books on painters from Europe. These were the first books on art that fell into my hands. There was a mirror fixed inside the canopy of her bed and wooden easel, and she started to paint. And this painting, she painted for Alejandro. In ese momento, Alejandro Gómez Arias, que ella se queja de que él no venía a verla. Y la familia decide mandarlo a Alemania para no estar casado toda la vida con una mujer enferma. Y él la deja. Eso refleja, por un lado, una cultura amplia en el arte europeo que le había enseñado el padre. Eh, también hay un gran amor que nunca va a olvidar con Alejandro Gómez Arias. We see her with that intense gaze that will become her look. When she wrote to Alejandro, she called it your Botticelli. So she associated herself with Botticelli's The Birth of Venus. And when you look at the way her hands are placed, the gesture is a kind of awkward beginner's attempt to show the Botticelli hand. She has a very low-cut dress, so she tries to accentuate her femininity, although she keeps her connected eyebrows, which, by the way, she often writes that she loves her eyebrows. And I think that's a kind of uh, rebellion that, that speaks to me. She knew she could adapt an alternative beauty. It's a beautiful painting, partly for its emotional resonance, I think. She was able to put into it that feeling of need, which is strong in all of Frida Kahlo's art, of a desperate need for somebody to love her. <laughs> 